Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Welcome to a weekend vlog. I can't believe it's the weekend again already. I don't know where this week has gone. Like, the weeks have been going by fast, but this week in particular, I feel like it was Monday just a day ago. But yeah, it's Friday. I'm about to go to physical therapy. I'm done with book three of Across the Pond, or at least first draft, not done done, obviously. If you watched the last vlog, you will have seen that. The exciting thing for the rest of this vlog, I have bought a new vlogging camera and it is currently on its way to my house or my apartment. I'm very excited. My old camera died. I've been vlogging on this camera for a while, but I'm not thrilled with the Sony. It's a good starter camera, but I'm not a starter YouTuber. <laughs> I've been doing this for over five years now. So there's a quality that I like to have, and so I haven't been happy with the Sony. It's good as a backup camera. I'm grateful that I had it. It's also why I wanted to get a new camera sooner rather than later so that this could still be the backup camera. I didn't want to use this camera until this one died. And my spare battery for the new camera doesn't come until Wednesday. So I might still be vlogging with this camera periodically to fill in gaps when the other battery dies. I am finally achieving real YouTuber status. I feel like you're, you're a proper YouTuber when you have a Canon G7X. I got the Mark II, not the Mark III, which is the newest one, and that one's significantly, that one's more expensive. I've seen some issues with the Mark III, so I'm happy with the Mark II. I'm not, it's not like I'm getting it because I just can't afford the newer version. I feel like I am getting the best version for a vlogger. So I'm really excited. I need to get going. I've gotta go. <laughs> It's here. I'm so excited. I was watching the live delivery updating on the map and then I also had my phone close by and as soon as I got the text that there was a parcel in the locker, I was like, ah, quick, gotta go. Unlike when I got my pen and when I've bought other cameras, this time, I did not go with a bundle, so it's literally just the camera and what comes with the camera, which isn't much. Why does that sound like things are rattling around in there? That's not good. No, I think. Well, the camera is, the camera's pretty snug. So I think it was just, it's the battery pack sliding around. So we've got a, wrist strap, one battery, and a charger that has a little flip out thing to go into the wall like that. So we are going to put the battery in to charge immediately. Everything is quite warm from being on that truck. Thankfully it wasn't in the mailbox for very long. That is charging. We can't wait until it turns green and it's full. <laughs> Okay, and then, dun, 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 there's the camera. Just like that. It's hot. I wouldn't normally order a new electronic item by mail in the summer. It is way too hot. So there we go, the one accessory it comes with. So what's great about this camera is you've obviously got the flip up screen what I didn't know it did, and I'm not sure how much I will use this, is it also flips down 45, which is probably why I haven't seen very many people use that function. Normally it's just flipping it up and it'll flip 
you know, a full 180. So it doesn't, you can stop it flipping up at any point. Comparing the hinge system to like the Olympus pen and, and the Sony, I'm hoping it will be better than the pen because it doesn't flip all the way down, but the pen also is a kind of dual flip, but it does have a pop-up flash. Looks like we've got the microphone fiddle focus or show you there's little dots on the top here so those are the microphones and then I'm really curious about the the wheel control you've got all your standard buttons on this side the screen looks really good I need to look through what the, the different rings are because there's two different rings there's your settings ring but then there's also this wheel if you can see that just has numbers and that spins separately. So I'm really curious about that. Need to read through the instructions. Need to read through the getting started manual. We'll do that in a bit. I think one thing I'm noticing off the bat, just with like the way the flip up screen works is, I don't know if it'll show. Ooh. Okay, so this is, I'm not sure about this. I think I'm just gonna have to get used to it. But this is what I didn't like about the Olympus pen as much, is it feels like there's just so many more ways the flip screen can break because of all the different hinges. And it seems like I've got to really make sure that it goes back down to the closed position. As far as work goes, I was in the process of formatting the beta draft of across the pond book three to send to one of my advanced readers so i'm gonna get back to that i was just i was just about to click generate to generate a moby file so i'm gonna do that and then yeah get on to something else i'm really tired it's 114 outside so between cleaning out my car when i got back from physical therapy and then running back out now to go get the camera I am, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm exhausted. Um, so I don't know that I'm gonna get a whole lot of work done. I honestly might go sit and read. Hopefully the next time I talk to you, I'll be talking to you on the new camera. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Okay, this is the new camera, and I'm on the old camera. <laughs> I feel like in this lighting, I think the Canon, I mean, even the preview screen looks better quality to me. This could be exciting. I can't, like, I'm, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you can see my hair. You can see how red my hair and the different, oh my gosh, the different tones in my hair. I don't feel like I could really see that with the other camera because it just was making everything look a bit orange. I'm still trying to make sure the white balance is right. But what I like about this camera is I can, not, not the white balance, the exposure. I can change the exposure while it's recording. So if I look a little blown out, I can fix that. Whereas this one was just auto and there was no button I could, there's no way I could ma manipulate it without turning it off and taking it off auto. This, so this is just the auto exposure ISO, but I can tweak that. I, I will eventually stop looking at the preview screen, but I'm just kind of blown away. Okay, so it tells me it's recording and it does tell me how many minutes I'm going and I can, there's a tracking around my face. Hold this somewhere so you can see. So there's a tracking around my face so it's keeping an eye on that. Oh my gosh, like I just, 
Okay. First impression so far, really high. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to trying to relax. I can't wait to see what it looks like when I edit this footage. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because this is a weekend vlog and Friday is already taking up a lot of time. I'm gonna have to edit stuff down. New camera, really exciting. <laughs> okay, where's the off button? Gotta get used to feeling where the buttons are. to sleep last night which is great <laughs> I'm very happy about that and then also managed to wake up by the time my Saturday alarm went off which is about 10 o'clock let myself sleep until 10 on Saturdays figure that's fair and yeah managed to get about nine hours a little bit more than nine hours of sleep I'm just moving around intentionally to kind of test <laughs> the camera and how it adjusts and how it looks in different lights but so far I'm loving it let me just screw the tripod on I have done some yoga this morning which felt really nice I've done some reading already I'm gonna go do some more reading in a little bit um, and then I've got some kind of journaling questions journaling exercises I want to do for stuff I want to talk about and film for like the Monday Tuesday vlog or something like that hopefully fingers crossed I also want to get the vlog footage for Monday's vlog imported so yeah I've already started doing some things I'm going to go get some breakfast and some coffee and go snuggle back in bed and read I'm still reading for vacation only by Mila Nix I've got, I think, just under two hours left in that book, so I definitely want to finish that book today and start whatever my next book will be, which I haven't decided. I'm going to go chill out for the rest of the day. Um, I will show you what I get up to, but it's going to be a lot of reading and relaxing because that is what I need, and I will check with you guys sometime tomorrow, probably. Sunday now and I am still not over this camera <laughs> I can't wait to edit this footage and see what it looks like on my laptop screen and hear the audio yesterday I did finish reading for vacation only I loved it I absolutely loved it I just think it is such a fun sexy romance there 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 are a couple steamy scenes it's set on a cruise ship Blake has been left at the altar and decides to go on the honeymoon without his now ex fiance and meets a woman who is part of the like entertainment crew so she's a singer um, on board the cruise ship and they like some of the action is set on the cruise ship and then they they go, come into port and so there's scenes in Montenegro and in Italy and in Spain like they go into Rome and Barcelona and I don't, I just I it's the perfect 
summer read, especially for those of us who still are unable to do any kind of traveling. So as someone who is still very much stuck in my apartment, it was just really nice to read a book set in all of these really cool locations and, and Mila does a really great job of writing all of them. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. So um, definitely put that on your TBR list and maybe bump it up towards the top of your TBR list because I just think it's such a perfect summer read right now. And I was really excited to find out um, at the end, she teases, that there will be a book too involving um, Jubilee as the main female character of this book. So her sister Adele will be the focus of the next book. And I'm really excited for that because I love, I love travel romance. I love books that are set in different locations. So whether the characters live in those locations, like you know, my Across the Pond series, I wouldn't call it really travel romance because they're not traveling, they live there. Or if it is like true travel romance where the characters are like on a journey and they're traveling like for vacation only, it's just really nice. So I highly, highly, highly recommend the book. Um, I think it's like $3.99 on Kindle, but yeah support indie authors. Mila is a fantastic indie author. This is the second book of hers that I've read in a different genre. The first one was like a paranormal romance. I think that was Black Witch Magic because I think Black Moon Rising is the sequel to that. I still need to read that one. I will check with you guys a little bit later but first I need coffee and food. So bad. now the end of the day. I'm feeling very sleepy. I ended up not doing any reading at all. <laughs> I just started watching YouTube videos. There were a bunch that had been uploaded yesterday and today that I wanted to watch and not get behind on. And then that led me down a rabbit hole of re-watching some old Vlogmas videos from one of my favorite creators whose vlogmases are just always so relaxing and cozy. And that was exactly what I needed. Now I'm just going to find something to watch. I think I might watch a movie. I watched a really bad Christmas movie last night. And like, bad in a bad way. There's bad in a good way. There's, you know, there's, there's bad but still entertaining. This was just bad and kind of boring and I just kind of wanted it to be over. So I'm going to try to find something a little bit more interesting, but I still think I might watch another Christmas movie because um, I'm just feeling the kind of Christmassy vibes. Watching the Vlogmas videos, I'm like, oh, can't wait until it's Vlogmas again. It's just my favorite time of year for so many reasons. Um, so yeah, I will try to find something relaxing and cozy and slightly festive to watch tonight. I, I need to just relax in general, but tonight especially I need to just relax and not drop the Huga question box on the floor. Yeah, I need to just chill out because I'm, I'm literally going to make myself sick at the rate I'm going. Okay, so here's our question. Um, simple one, but I'd like to know. Do you think you have nice handwriting? I don't think so. I don't mind my handwriting. It's my handwriting. I can read it most of the time. <laughs> I think it's very unique to me, but I've never received any compliments on my handwriting. In fact, it still has stuck with me. On one of my planning videos, I had someone comment. They may not have intended the snarky tone that I attached to it, but um, their comment was basically um, that they really liked my planning. If I, if I just would practice my handwriting a bit more, it would be perfect. It's like, 
I'm at the time I was like 38 like I'm a grown woman my handwriting is what it is I don't have time right now to spend hours drawing out the alphabet to perfect my handwriting if I slow down and like really take my time my handwriting's not terrible especially when I draw when I, when I write with a fountain pen which is why I really like fountain pens but like if I'm just writing normally it's not great but it's my handwriting so I don't really care I think that all these planning videos <laughs> that are out there like some people have really beautiful handwriting I also think for some of these planning videos people do like take their time to really make their handwriting look good so like I have a feeling that on all these different planner videos that for some of these people the handwriting isn't really actually as nice as it looks not like when they're just writing normally like really quickly so I don't really I don't think I've got the best handwriting but it's my handwriting so I don't really care um, like it is what it is of all the things in my life that I'm trying to strengthen and improve my handwriting isn't one of them. It is what it is. But I'd like to know, do you have nice handwriting? Have you received compliments for it? Some of the people who've sent me cards to my P.O. box, I'm always amazed by how pretty other people's handwriting looks because compared to mine, it's just, and then I feel a little, I feel a little bit bad. Like I do try to be extra careful when I send a card back to someone to like not be in a rush, not have my handwriting be quick just to like take my time to make it look good. I'm, I'm grateful we live in an era where most of what we write is typed. Although I think if I did hand, do handwriting on a daily basis for Per, for work purposes it probably would be better um so I don't know maybe the maybe technology is the reason why some of us our handwriting isn't as good because we're not doing it as much but yeah I'd love to know if you th if you have nice handwriting or not I think nice is maybe a little bit relative um but just I'd like to know do you like your handwriting or are you like me where maybe your handwriting isn't winning awards, but you know, it's your handwriting and it's unique to you and that makes it special. I'd love to know in the comments. Um, I feel like this has been a really random vlog. Um, it's, I've tried, I thought it would be a first impressions of the, the Canon G7X. I will probably use it for a little bit longer and then maybe do a video talking about it compared to other vlogging cameras I've used. I am really liking it so far. It's very smooth. Um, when it turns on and off and this, the lens comes out, it it's very smooth compared to the Sony. Um, it's lighter, I think. It's heavier than the Sony I've been using and heavier than an iPhone, much heavier than an iPhone. But I think it might be a little bit lighter. It is lighter, because Tamsin noticed that. It's lighter than the Olympus Pen, which was my old beloved vlogging camera. I've had two of those. So yeah, there's a lot of things I'm really liking. The only thing I'm worried about is the flip screen because it not only flips up, but it also flips out and so it's got a dual, it, it flips out and slightly downwards 45 degrees. So it's the kind of the reverse of what the Olympus Pen can do. Um, and so that means like the Olympus Pen, it has a dual hinge system. So it does make me a little worried about the longevity of the flip screen. I've got the warranty. It's got a one year warranty. So if anything happens to it in a year, it's covered. But it does make me think I need to start saving for the next camera. Because with my luck, shortly after that warranty expires is when the screen will die. I do know from other vloggers that they replace their G7X fairly frequently when they're daily vloggers. So they, they do have a shorter shelf life than when you're just a regular camera user. I'm, I've got the camera savings fund already. <laughs> but so far, I mean, I haven't edited it yet. I'll try to put something on the screen of like what it's been like editing this vlog. Um, I haven't edited this vlog yet, so I don't know what it looks like on my laptop screen and I don't know what the sound quality is like. Like the AC is on right now, so I hope that hasn't been too irritating. But... I am really liking it so far. So I will update you more on the vlogging camera and you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think of the camera. Um, that can be our other question of the vlog. 
what do you think of the new vlogging camera um, and the quality. This one will have like both cameras in one vlog, footage from both cameras in one vlog, so you can let me know if you noticed a jump, an increase in quality. But yeah, I'm now gonna go find a movie and go settle in and just enjoy tonight. If you enjoyed the vlog, do give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would really appreciate that. We're up to like 1,780 people and you guys are just blowing my mind. I absolutely love each and every one of you who've clicked that subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, do say hello in the comments. I do read and reply to every comment that I get on the video, so I do like hearing from all of you new wonderful people. So let me know who you are, where you're watching from, all that good stuff. And if you haven't yet clicked subscribe, click subscribe, join, join in the fun. Um, and yeah, I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye.